What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Mike? What's going on, brother? Um, Nosferatu. Yes, uh, Nosferatu. Episode 8, Chris McQueen. R.I.P. Chris McQueen. Yeah, I think Rip. that was our poll, right? Wasn't that our poll That question, was our Chris? poll cat question. I said, we said, what do you think is this going to be the end of Chris McQueen and I'm gonna be honest with you, Mikey. It was it was about fifty fifty. It was split. Yeah. Um. With a with a with a few saying, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, well, it's we very all know now. Decisive. We all know now. People. He got his yeah. neck snap a lapped. So I don't snap know. Snap a lap a ding dong. Um, yeah. This. This was a this was a really good episode. Um. Mm -hmm. Mostly, mm -hmm. but there but there are some. There's some, there's just some, we'll get to it because we have questions and we'll get to yeah. it through the questions. But yeah. I just wanted to say that this, you know, there was some really good stuff in this episode again. Yeah, and... it's been, it's been really, I mean, I say this all the time, so I'm like a broken record. So you know how I feel about this season record so far. Scratch, it's been really good. Man. Yeah. Uh, no, really good. Another cool one. I really like um, seeing more of Millie too. Like just seeing the conversation between her and Vic was really cool too. I wonder even, when she's even, gonna um, get back with Manili, with, um, um, with, with Vanilli. Yeah. <laughs> when are they gonna get Millie Vanilli gonna give back, bro? Like they're it's... gonna sing uh Don't Forget My Number again? Yeah. That's what she's saying. <laughs> That's know. what she's singing to her mom. Yeah. The little boy yeah. that went out that ran out in the first in the first episode. She's like <laughs> Right. Right. The 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 uh the Vic Bing stuff was cool too. In the yeah, um in the, the, in the, the police question station thing. room. Yeah, the yeah the interrogation. That was kinda room, cool. Room. Yeah. Um Tabitha's little talk with him was pretty cool too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was. Um, I like I mean, how the next dude. No, not to cut you off, but real quick, I like how the next day, mm. the dude was like, Bleh! Chris McQueen basically beat the shit out of him, and then and just shoved that more into his spleen. That had yeah. to hit some organs, and the next day he's in a room. Okay. Uh, Bing is a he's a he perseveres. Bing. It's a beast. For, <laughs> health wise, he's got shot. Oh, and he was right, and he was shot, and he's fine. Like, and it was like, it was like Manx like jammed that spike like yeah. up too. It's not like it, it's yeah. straight. And then the so body. did so did Chris. And then he jammed it up too. You know? Yeah. How much can um, how much jamming can one man take? Is all hey, I'm saying. I mean, he's been jamming his whole life. He has been jamming his whole life. You're not wrong about that, Mike. Yeah, All right, so yeah. yeah, this was like I said, it was. Um, I'm just looking at my notes real quick just to see. Oh, we finally got to see uh, 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 um, Virginia, not Virginia. That's her real name, Linda. Finally, her name is Virginia uh -huh. Cole. Yeah, uh, Virginia. Uh, ah, Linda got to finally see the bridge. See the the bridge. And which we was haven't cool, yes. we haven't been in the bridge since last season. I don't think. I don't think we actually went in the bridge this season, did we? Nah, yeah, of course we did. Did we? I don't remember being yeah. like that. I just, I don't know. It was yeah, cool, man. Him, like looking around here in the bats again. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, oh, it was and cool. The, I mean, did we ever see? Did anybody ever see the bridge before? No. Well, I mean, some random, some randos did. That that actually was like, whoa, uh, there's a fucking big old bridge. Yeah, like some random people did when when she like. Um, yeah, I don't know because I I mean not any of our characters except maybe Maggie. Yeah, maybe Maggie did. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of. I mean, it was cool for her obviously to get that verification, Linda. Yeah. She knows her kid's not crazy and her she's not crazy. Husband, yeah. next husband. Yeah. I um. All right. I yeah. Real quick before we get this, I uh, just want to say that was a really cool speech. It was really good. I I really like that actor Eben, Eben Moss something or other. But he, oh, he's Chris, really yeah. he he's really good. Christmas That's how speech. I knew it was over. Well, every dude, every yes, it's, it's the Walking Dead syndrome. It's it's every once a character says a speech or does something, that means it's it's over. Once they have some type of thing, yeah. But and he was very much like his dad. He turned into unfortunately. Well, he went away. Well, because yeah. his friend died and he went away, and then he became. Yeah. He realized he understood what his dad was. He understood more of why his dad was the way he was because he turned into yeah. his dad because he realized that they yeah. both went away to war and they came back thinking the same exact thing. Who? What am I? Yeah. What is this? What's yeah. it all for? What the hell does and it And they matter? love the arts. We, he talked about how his, with his band and he talked about his father had um, Secret love books of poetry. and poetry and mm -hmm. things. So it was kind of, yeah, it's it was, um, yeah, it was a great opening. The opening is always really good. Yeah. You know what I mean, and that was that was a good one. Um, yeah, poor Chris, man. 
So, all right. So, yeah. So, we got some questions. Uh, and yeah. since we're talking about Chris, uh, yeah. Sam asked us first question. Thank you, Sam. How will Linda react to the to the fact that Chris is dead? What do you think? Uh, we saw them kind of uh, being a little bit closer. The last you few know, episodes, when they were yeah. Waiting and yeah. So, um, I, obviously, I mean, she's obviously gonna be upset. Mm-hmm. Uh, he went out. You know, he went out as like a hero, even though his We'll get into the, we'll get the into info, that, yeah. info thing and the bombs and stuff. Get but he went out, you know. Um, so maybe maybe this Save makes room for Linda to possibly be involved in um, this battle. Maybe she's just like Chris kind of had a hand in it. Maybe she'll have some kind of part um, in helping out. I, mean, I don't know. I don't. I, I. I don't think so. I think she'll be broken up. But I don't. I think she's. She's out for the rest of the season. I think it's. No, gonna... Maybe she'll avenge her. Her husband or ex-husband or something. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. I. Yeah. I. I Nevertheless, she, she's going to be. It's, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. I feel bad. She's going to be upset. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. All right. That's a good one. That was from Sam, right? We mentioned that yeah. was from Sam, right? So I'm getting this question. All right. Uh, this is from Will. Uh, what's up with Tabitha? Uh, can she be keeping something from Maggie? From Maggie. So I'm assuming he's talking why they broke up, right? Yeah. I look. I have a problem with Tabitha. Mm. I I okay, I don't think I don't think she's hiding anything. I don't what, think so either. What my problem with her is, like, y- y- she just doesn't want to accept Maggie for who she is, and. And I that's, she, that's yeah. It. And overall, that's just like the abilities, and that there are these other, um, like science fiction part. I, like, I, you know, I don't think that's the real a problem. World. I think I, I think it's the fact that she doesn't want Maggie specifically using them because because of her seizures, and now she's hurting herself to not have seizures, and she just doesn't want any part of that. I don't look. I don't. I guess I don't blame her, but at the same time, it's like. Yeah. Well, then you know she want you. You're gonna keep her from being who she is. So yeah, I don't know what to well, tell I mean, you. Well, I mean, that's what she that's kinda kind of says. I can't my, remember that's exactly. Kind of my problem is like you know I don't like that. She's like I well, I wanted I want this I want a, a, a like a family with kids, and you're that you want that you want to keep doing that. She wants a normal life. Again, yeah. you can't blame her, especially yeah. not for nothing, Mike. Since she's an FBI agent, her life her life's ridiculous anyway the garbage that she has to see of people you know like she well, she's been she had a big she had a, a huge part of this this case and the, and the involvement mm-hmm. she almost died yep. she she shoots uh, a man in the skull and he comes back to life yep. she got you know so she's she's gone through a lot and i think it probably took a toll on her and maggie really said i forgot which episode it was but maggie kind of said like i'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my tiles. Like that's that's um you know yeah. It, it, I guess it all came full circle, and and she kind of just realized I can't be involved in this. Um, I mean, look, at least she life. was honest. At least she was honest with. Yeah, her, no, that's cool. I mean, like, whatever. You know, she was, you know. They might. They may be okay. They may turn out okay. You never know. Yeah, who? I mean, you never know. She might just do the same thing. It might be be one of those save the day, and here she is. Oh, I thought you left. No, I saved you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it could be something. It could be something like that. All right. Next question. Uh, uh, this one comes yeah. to us from Brian. Thank you, Brian. Is the wraith protected from the bombs? Could the wraith be protected from being destroyed when Meg drives it? It seemed that way. <laughs> I mean, listen. We talked about this. Now Chris was like this amfo, amfo, right? Amfo. This, yeah, this stuff is this called. Demolition. So he's like this bombs master in the Gulf War. Dude, you and- saw how big that bomb was, right? That yeah, thing was like that, th- it was like, it's like it was huge. It yeah. was like this big, dude. And it's like it might as well have been like a like a little blockbuster or something going off. We know what an M eighty can do. That was yeah, like an M like eighty in the ground. What yeah, we saw. Like, that was a little ridiculous. I, I that's a little what bit. I'm just I, that's why I'm saying like for for how great this show is and how awesome they do with everything like that. Yeah, that was that's, that's kind of disappointed. Bumps. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know you guys work really hard on this show, but it was yeah. a little. To me, it was like very disappointing. Man. Yeah, it was just I mean, the rate's not protected from the bombs. Yes, nah. it can be destroyed from the bombs. It's yes. just it blew up and they drove or he dr- it blew and up he dro- and it drove he drove around. Like- <laughs> First of all, why did they shoot? Okay, 
I get it. You 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 you, you place them staggered to cover all bases. Mm. But they were so freaking far apart that they, they should were, have made like a line across. Yeah, like and then I don't. They couldn't have missed. You know, like I, listen, whatever. It just, it, it was, just, it, 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 it looked, it looked like crap. It, it looked was, like crap. It yeah, and they, and I obviously think they didn't do used, shit. they used the same shot, I think, twice. Yes, from inside the cabin yeah. of the wraith, yeah. and you, and showing the explosion through the front windshield. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I was upset also because it was like it, that this is the second time Vic just couldn't couldn't get it done. The last time when she it threw wasn't the really bomb Vic. At. It was no, the, but just in general, like Chris. it's just like it's the same garbage. It's like it's this you came at him. He mm. came at you. You didn't do anything. It didn't work out. I don't know. It was All annoying. Right. But All listen, right, so I'm giving, let me paint, paint yeah, a picture for you. So yeah. if you can change the right. the outcome of that scene. So now she has all the time in the world. What else could Vic have done to destroy the the wraith with all that time just standing there as he's just trucking down the, you know, what what else? Just do you have any kind of um, fun ideas of what she could have done to destroy the wraith in that whole two minutes that she, she watched had? him drive around the road? I'm like, <laughs> like a bar, a grenade, uh, uh, a rocket launcher. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know, a fucking flamethrower or something. Like, I'm just like, and, and then she waited so long that the fucking, that the bike, like, fell down on her, and I don't know, dude. You know what? Like, honestly, I mean, yeah, like, you you, you could have had, she they could have made a sticky bomb, and she yeah. could have driven, she's more agile than the car. Yeah. She knows how to ride. She could have just driven up next to it. It's like It's like she did with that damn gas can. Yeah. Okay, that was a little ill. We get it. She was she was going. She was she, that was a little overzealous, right? But yeah. this, you planned and planned. You could have had some of this, this whatever the C four, whatever, and at least driven up to it and threw it at the car. Yeah. Instead, she waited there, and then, and then, and then the whole thing where Chris knocks her out of the way, and he's like, ah, <laughs> it just ran, and he's alive, and he's still alive. He's like, ah. And he crunched. She heard the crunch too. And then like, the bike falls on her, and it was just like, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it seemed like rushed to me, and like, like ah, uh, like maybe what they were gonna do, they couldn't do. So they like, we gotta do this quick because our filming schedule is. Yeah, I'm sure out. it's something like that. I don't Listen, know, man. I don't want to like knock it. Was, it. I don't. <laughs> it just wasn't. I feel like it wasn't up to par with what they. No. Than what with what we've no. seen because we've seen some amazing stuff, and it's just mm -hmm. like that was like just. Not that. Not that it was like. You know, I don't want to say it wasn't done poorly or that it was done poorly, but I just mean like, I don't know. I just wish it. Would, I think just wish. Well, the, I think I think we all out. kind of feeling that a little bit because that's not. The, I but mean, you at know least what? But I listen, heard this from multiple people. Multiple people. So. I also have another. I also have another uh, uh, another gripe while we're griping. Mm. This whole time she's like, I gotta find Wayne. Where is he? I gotta talk to. And I'm sitting here going, just use your damn bridge. Then I remembered. Oh wait, if he's in the wraith. She can't see him. She can't get to him because they're on that St. Nick Highway yeah. or whatever. I'm like, yeah, all yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah. I'm like, she found Manx at the Parnassus. Like, she yeah. got to the Parnassus. So, like, it's not like she can't get to, like, Inscapes. She could. She got to the Parnassus. So, I'm still not convinced that she wouldn't, that she couldn't find them on well, the St. Nick Highway. Well, she didn't really try to do that. Though. That's she my point. She knew where Why? he was going to go. But, but, I don't know. I don't know. I get it. She because you wanted to from... go there to destroy Manx. Right. You didn't want to just... I get it. I, she I, after I like... thought about it, I you know. but at first I'm sitting here going, why isn't she mm -hmm. using the bridge to find her damn boy? Then it's like, well, yeah. she wants a preempted this and that, so they come up with that plan, right? He's going to put his, his ornament on the tree. Yeah. Okay. So look, yeah. that let's let's move to our next question because now we're right. getting into that that territory. Yeah. So this is um this is from Jesse. Um, Jesse Thanks, has, Jesse. Like, yeah, Jesse's Jesse's always giving us some cool stuff. All right. So when the soul falls is the tile right. that that pops up, um, asking how they can get Wayne back or whatever the question was, something like that, right? Yeah. Um. So Jesse asked, "What does that mean?" When the soul and or when, souls, it was soul. I think it was when souls fall. I think when so when souls fall. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. So when souls fall, uh, what does that mean? And then when Millie rolls the snowball out of the, the veil of the other realm there, 
Why does Vic say thank you? And does she understand the secret Millie is trying to show her? Um, I don't understand the secret she's trying to show her because, first of it all, a, she... <laughs> I had to watch it a couple times to see that. Ex I watched that exact scene. So Maggie says thank you after that she kind of agrees to help Millie get out of there. That um, you know, Millie explains how if her father dies. Um, we all die. We. I want. She. She. She says she wants to grow up and be a woman and blah blah blah. So what? What she says thank you to is the fact that Millie um, tells her a secret. The secret um, between the the I guess the thinnest of the worlds that 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 the veil, thin right. veil mm -hmm. um, that Manx doesn't know about. So after watching it a few times, that's my only conclusion is that. She's just thanking her to give her a little inside information. Right. And does she, here's my, here's, I don't, I don't understand what, like, what's the point? Like, there's no, all right. The point is, is that somehow Vic there's... has to find a way that whatever comes through the veil doesn't get destroyed because the snowball didn't melt. The snowballed like snowball it, it, like, dissipated it, because it's like, because it's imagination that's why and and so what she says well these children are gonna have to pass through that without dying without they're gonna have to come back okay, here's the other thing so what that's is the whole what what, point. what what was the question mike that maggie asked the tiles to get that answer do you remember what was the question? will um can they save the children I, no no i think it was will wayne Will Wayne go to Christmas land or did we know the, the question? Can, can the children be saved? Some, something I think like that, that was the question, right? Anyway, or I, something, I have no like, idea what can that means. Wayne be saved or can Wayne come back like that? When the, when the souls yeah. fall, I, I don't, when the souls I actually, fall. And, and to be honest with you, I don't remember. I don't, I it was, we're, that's we're, what it we're was. Getting, to be all right. So just so like, if anybody wants a, a semblance, you know, no spoilers, but we are getting to the end of the book. Like, this is getting now towards the end of the book. Um, there's only two episodes left for the season. Yeah. And, you know, the the coming attractions for the next episode look very similar to what goes down in the book, right? So, yeah. having said all that, I don't, you know, again, there's two episodes left. So, I'm not sure, you know, unless they make, like, the next one, like, two parts or something. I don't know. But yeah. I, I honestly don't remember if that was in the book. I just don't remember. And I'm not gonna yeah. go look it up. I'm just gonna stick with the show. And I don't, honestly, Mike, I don't know what that means. I I was thinking about it. Uh, I, was... I mean, I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of obvious what it means. What is it? What do you think it means? I think we got the answer really to that question in this episode by by them realizing that every one of those ornaments is the soul of a child before they go into Christmas Land. Every child has to follow that route on the sleigh sleigh road. St. Right? Nick Highway. St. Nick Highway or whatever. The sleigh house. They have to go to the sleigh house and place their ornament. That's how Vic knew to, to, to bypass them there and find them there. Well, right. So they're, so I so think they're like leaving their child soul at the door. Has, kind of yes, yes. Each child mm. has their own specific ornament. Um, we know why his is a bat. So, yeah, I think it's as simple as that. I think it has something to do with these ornaments, and that's the way that these kids are going okay, to Okay, so last question. Do you guys have any theories about how the children in Crystal Land can be yeah. saved? So then... I think so, I... So, um, so that Frank Does she have to destroy that. them? So I Does she okay, so then there's a theory. Take do they, them off the branch? Right. Do the, do the kids have to come out and take them? Does she have to hand them back to the kids? Maybe through the she's, veil or maybe something. Maybe she's got to or... hand them... Maybe when they come out, they yeah. I don't know how you're gonna know who's is who's, but they don't last very long outside the veil. So yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think the kids, the kids don't have. An, it's not the kids going out and getting them because they would have probably tried to do that by now. Mm. I think it's more. Um, maybe maybe since we saw they can pass things through, maybe Vic can take the ornament and pass it through to them. Maybe. Well, we don't know. We've you never know? seen something come come in. Come come in that yeah. way, anyway. I mean, obviously, yeah. Manx brings them in, but so, you know, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, that would be my only theory is that it has, to, like you said, it's got to be something to do with the. Well, maybe they have, maybe they just have to be destroyed. But but then aren't you destroying the kids' souls? Yeah, that's true too. 
know. Yeah, I mean, I'm I a don't little. Know. That's where. That's where I'm a little. I'm a little out of sorts with that because mm -hmm. I don't know. I just. I. I. I'm not seeing any correlation. And even when she's like, "Oh, let me show you a secret." Yeah. When it's like when anything that comes out of here dies, disappears, and it's like, well, okay, but I don't how think does that was the secret? The secret was to show Vic that there's actually a different way getting into Christmas Land or out of Christmas Land. Right, and then they, then to solve the but they never actually said we need to solve this problem of this, and she's obviously not caring about that. So right now she's not giving a crap. So I don't know what I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, look, next episode looks really cool. Yeah, it um, does. If you didn't see it, guess what? She's in Christmas Land. The fight's being taken to Christmas Land. I'm curious to see who she takes with her, who she takes into Christmas Land to fight the battles. I wonder if she's going to take anyone in there. If it's going to be like Maggie, and the, because you know, in the book, it's not. It's just her. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, does she want to put anybody through that? I think Vic is kind of the one yeah, that. Yeah, but now, man, now it's it's go time, bro. I don't think that all I don't hands think on that... deck, go time, bro. Bring your GoPro, bro. Put I... this shit on YouTube, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I think that Vic would definitely want to go by herself because, God forbid, Lou goes with Someone her, and the kid dies, has, yeah. then the kids, both parents, could possibly die. Listen, so... they're not good. They're not good at. Like honestly, Vic, it's like I want you to just give up because you're not good at making plans. Or no, your 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 plans aren't the problem. It's your follow through, mm -hmm. and you, it's your. She's angry. It's your follow through. It's she, like she didn't can't... want her dad to go with her originally, and then he he's have. like, "Don't be," you know. Yeah. So, well, I mean, it's true. She probably could have did all that stuff by herself. She could have screwed it up all by herself. Yeah, his aim was her, her aim can't be any worse than yeah, it's true to that than her dad. Anyway, so, look, this was a good episode. Yeah, all the little P. silly things uh, aside, yeah. you know they got to stretch it, give it to us. It's fine. I like the show. Yeah. These last this season has been really fun. It's been interesting. I really want them to end it. I yes, me too. I was thinking about that. It. I was I was telling my wife when I was watching it. I was like, yeah, I want them to end it. I mean, I don't. Mm -hmm. I want to see more. I don't want this show to end. But I, I they can I, spin off somehow. I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see. You know yeah. what I mean? They've they yeah. they've played, you know, they've played with new 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 creatives and adding characters and mm -hmm. and and they you know they're well written. So I don't see why they can't yeah. you know come up with another story. No, I or, think so too. And it depends on how um I know how um it depends on how well the the ratings are really going. I haven't yeah, looked at them, but I mean. Always, there's a lot of people that are interested in this show and that's why there's a bunch of facebook groups about it and we have the links to our facebook group for the show as well as the um another nosferatu fans uh amc page uh linked in the description which there's a lot of cool yep. um podcasts that go on there right after the show and they talk to a lot of the characters the actors that, that yep. play the characters i should say so you guys can check that that stuff out too um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know that we were kind of trying to voice our concern about the Badlands. So I know there are the same kind of things going on with Twitter, the Twitterverse, about getting the show renewed um, all over. But again, there. but that, but it's got to be story wise, though. If it, again, we yeah. don't know where this is going. I mean, we'll speak to yeah. this more after the, after the after the last two episodes. But mm -hmm. I mean, let's see yeah. what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? If yeah. it if it ends, it ends. I mean. I, I really think it's gonna. I don't I see. Really I really don't. Way. I don't. I, yeah, I really don't want it to. You can do like a Maggie backstory, or you can do um, a, the story about the Wraith and the people that that owned it in the past with new characters, obviously, but still keeping in that that Joe Hill, uh, Stephen King vibe. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. let's see. I mean, it's it's a great series. I'm sure that you know the viewers' voices will be heard, uh, if not already. So yeah. again, guys, um, two more left. Nine and ten, right? Yep. Looks to be some good stuff. Check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets. We're always posting, um, you know, our uh, our upcoming shows and to get those questions in for our for our review Q and A's. And again, thank you everybody that submits those questions. These are really fun videos for Chris and I. Um, yeah, thanks for the support of the channel. Of course, if you do like the show, if you do like us, we normally don't do this, but subscribe hit the like buttons yeah. we appreciate that kind of um that, yeah. feedback from everybody and uh thank you everyone who gave us questions you know like we said yes uh, we appreciate yes. it and uh yeah. hey listen we got two left we'll see you guys uh for the next episode of nosferatu right. so until then